What's up DFS players, world sleeping, we're out here hitting profitable player props. We're gonna be looking through the best MLB player props on prize picks. So again, this platform's pretty fascinating because it doesn't matter what two picks you select. If you take overs or unders, it doesn't matter what picks you select. You're always going to be getting 20 to win 60, 20 to win 40 in profit plus your $20 stake back. So that's just plus 200 odds, right? It doesn't matter if you take the overs, the unders, 20 to win 60. Now, the reason this is pretty crazy, right, is because prize picks isn't varying your payout depending on if you're selecting or the overs or the unders. And on sports books, that's just not the case, right? Sports books will juice an outcome towards the over or towards the under. For example, on DraftKings, Mike Miner over four and a half strikeouts is minus 150 odds. The under is plus 115, right? So DraftKings thinks the over is much more likely to hit than the under is. That's why they're giving you significantly worse odds on the over four and a half strikeouts. So for example, if we took, you know, these two player props, Mike Miner over four and a half strikeouts and Patrick Sandoval over five and a half strikeouts on DraftKings, we would be getting plus 200 odds, right? That's the exact same odds as prize picks. Now, if we switched both to unders, we'd still be getting 20 to win 60 on prize picks, but on DraftKings, we would now be getting, you know, significantly better odds at plus 319, which means DraftKings and the sports books think these, you know, the unders are much less likely to hit. So long story short, because prize picks is always giving you plus 200 odds on any two player props that you select, you can essentially compare prize picks to the lines on the sports books and find some pretty big discrepancies. So there's a bunch of tools you can use on Odds Jam to find line discrepancies on prize picks, but one of my favorite ones is the middle tool, right? So the middle betting tool essentially shows you when sports books are setting a line at different levels, right? So if we go down, you can see a perfect example here with Lance Lynn over five, under five and a half strikeouts. So if we click into the odds, you can see prize picks has the line at five. So right here. So if we click into the odds, you can see that the sports books, right? We have Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker, the most efficient betting market with the most accurate odds. They're setting the line at over five and a half and they have the over heavily juiced for the five and a half line, right? And on prize picks, we can get over under five, right? So we're getting an additional half a strikeout where our player prop is going to push on prize picks, right? If there's exact, if Lance Lynn has exactly five strikeouts, but the sports books are weighting the over five and a half as even more heavily favored, right? Minus 163 is the current odds on Pinnacle. So the sports books are heavily weighting the over five and a half strikeouts, and we can get over five in our prize picks entry, which is obviously even better, right? So you can use a no vague fair odds calculator. And what we can do is essentially go in here and we can take the market from Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker, put it into a no vague fair odds calculator. And this calculator will essentially tell you, you know, that over five and a half strikeouts for Lance Lynn, we're looking at the over five and a half strikeouts should be hitting at a rate of 57.8% of the time, right? We need to be hitting two pick entry or player props in our two pick entry 57.74% of the time to break even on prize picks. And we're hitting this prop 57.8% of the time. So this prop is really, really good because we're getting an additional half a strikeout where, you know, the sports books are heavily juicing the over five and a half and we're getting over five in our prize picks entry, right? So this is exactly what we want as a DFS player right? Using the middle betting tool, this discrepancy we were able to find is a really good pick to include in your prize picks entry, because again, you're getting a whole additional half a strikeout on prize picks and the sports books have the over five and a half heavily juiced, right? Both Caesars and Pinnacle are setting the over five and a half closer to minus 170. And we can get the over five strikeouts at an implied price of minus 137 on prize picks, which is always going to be the implied odds that you are getting on prize picks for any two player prop pick entry. 
So that's the first pick I went with. And then the second pick, we've discussed the Odds Jam positive EV tool before. This tool will just essentially show you line discrepancies, math mathematically profitable sports bets and DFS player props. So we can see player strikeouts tomorrow. Chris um, Bassett under five and a half is plus 120, you know, on FanDuel. So it looks like it just moved down to minus 108. But at plus 120 odds, right, like that's a huge line discrepancy. All the other sports books are setting this at minus 133, minus 120, minus 128. If we could have picked that up plus 120 on FanDuel, that's a pretty incredible bet. But it looks like it moved. But here's another example. We have um, Garcia over one and a half player bases. This is plus 150 on FanDuel. No other sports books giving us above plus 110. This is an example of a great MLB bet we would want to be on. So this page, you know, the positive EV page, will just show you line discrepancies where sports books are setting the line, you know, at the same number. So for Garcia, all the sports books, you know, they're setting the line at over under one and a half player bases. Now, that's very different than the middle tool. Right, because the middle tool will show you where are sports books, first of all, not even setting the line at the same number, which you can see here, right? This is a total slam. DraftKings, it looks like, just posted odds for Lancelin over five and a half strikeouts. So we can actually go back here, right? If we took Mike Miner over four and a half strikeouts, because these are gonna be our two picks, and then Lance Lynn. Where's my boy Lance Lynn? Over five and a half. So over five and a half is obviously even worse, <laughs> even worse than over five strikeouts because for over five strikeouts, you're pushing if Lance Lynn has five, whereas you're losing if you bet on Lance Lynn over five and a half strikeouts on DraftKings. So long story short, you'd only be getting plus 170, right, on DraftKings for this, but you're getting plus 200 on prize picks, right? And you're getting the whole additional half a strikeout because on prize picks, it's over under five, which is what the middle tool shows you, right, on Odds Jam. It shows you where are sportsbooks not even setting the line at the same level, which is exactly what we see here, right? Um, so I like to use this tool as well just to see where, first of all, sportsbooks aren't even setting the line at the same level. So we can go ahead and lock this in for tomorrow. So we have Mike Miner over four and a half strikeouts, a positive EV play. And then we have Lance Lynn over five strikeouts, which is from the middle tool, which again, just shows us where sportsbooks aren't even setting the line, right, at the same level. So I hope you found this video helpful, this tutorial video, you know, about prize picks. We hit today, we hit today, Mitch Keller over four and a half strikeouts, Ronnie Garcia under four, under, under four and a half. So been on a been on a pretty good baseball run in prize picks. I didn't start prize picks until May 22, and I kind of you know really looked into the math behind prize picks and how you can squeak out edge as a DFS player, and have been aggressively you know trying to use it since then, and hopefully sharing some helpful helpful information with you as well. So you know obviously been been a pretty crazy run. Hopefully you've been able to tail. We've been hitting out of had a pretty incredible clip recently. So thanks so much for your time. I hope you're able to tail these player props and have a great one.